Hi, students. So this uh, chapter, we are going to talk about how to go about calculating confidence intervals um, for means or percentages in SPSS. So how do we go about doing this? So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this Analyze section. We're going to click on Analyze. Then we're going to come over to Descriptive Statistics. Then we're going to click on the Explore procedures. Explore. Okay. Now you can do this for either means or percentages or proportions. Uh, percentages or proportions are pretty much the same thing. Um, but the reason why I'm telling you that is because you, you need interval ratio level data in order to uh, perform this. So you can't really calculate confidence intervals for nominal and or ordinal level data. So you're going to need some type of interval ratio level uh, variable. And if you all remember from previous uh, videos, um, if you see a ruler here, you know that it's interval ratio or what's referred to as scale in SPSS. Um, so having said that, why don't we go ahead and find, let's just take a look at this variable. So this is the variable hours, which is looking at how many hours the respondent worked last week. So let's just say we want to find the, the sample mean the number of hours the respondents in the sample have worked in the past week. And then we want to build an interval around that sample mean. So let's go ahead and click this let's go ahead and then put in the dependent list. We'll talk about what this uh, factors list is a little bit later. So now that we have hours in the dependent list, we are going to come over here to statistics. And now the default is a 95% confidence interval. But like I said, you can do it for 90, 95, 99. You can theoretically create a confidence interval for any uh, number, but 95 and 99 are the, are the most uh, common. But you, you typically would never look in an academic journal article and see like an 80% confidence interval. So if the default is 95, but let's go ahead and uh, change it to 99 for the purpose of showing you all how this works. Um, so let's go ahead and do 99% of interval. I'm gonna press continue. And if you all remember, I think I may have showed uh, this explore procedure on a, uh, another video where we are creating a box plot. So one thing that also occurs is that when you ask for the confidence interval with this explore procedure, it also provides you, uh, you know, various graphic devices. So for example, if I come over to this plot section, you can give a stem and leaf, uh, can create a histogram and stuff like that, but I actually don't want to do that. So I'm going to uh, do something which is I'm going to click on statistics. So if I don't click on statistics and it'll display like the stem and leaf plot and and it will also display a box plot which again is not something that I, I personally want right now. So I, I just want to look at these statistics. So I'm going to press OK. And now it has provided me with a um, mean. For, so the mean hours of uh, worked last week was 41.32 for the sample. Um, and then what we see here is the lower bound of that confidence interval is 39.99. And then the upper bound is 42.65. So having said that, we can be about 99% confident that the actual population parameter, the actual population mean falls somewhere between this 39.99 and this 42.65, that is the average uh, in the population for hours worked uh, per week. Okay. Now let's just say that I want to do some type of comparison. Okay, so let's just say that I want to do some type of comparison. And I wanted to look at maybe the differences in the average hours of uh, worked per week for males versus females. So what I would do is I'd come over here and I'd come over to this explore procedure. Okay, and then here in the factor list, I would come over and put sex. So I would compare males versus females. Um, you could do this with obviously um, any uh, variable that you're looking at. Maybe you want to do it by social class. Maybe you want to do it by religion or sexual orientation or something like that. So they said that I want to do it for sex. I press OK. And now what it's going to do is it's separating the males and the females. So we can look at the average hours work per week for males and then compare that to the average hours work per week for females. So for males, we can see here that the mean hours per week in this sample is 45.02, okay? 
The lower bound of that confidence, of that 99% confidence interval was 43.06, and the upper bound was 46.97. So we can be 99% confident that the actual population parameter falls somewhere between 43.06 and 46.97. And obviously, this, uh, we can also look at it for the females as well. So the mean for females is 37.66. The lower bound is 35.95, and then the upper bound is 39.37, which means that we can be by 99% confident that the actual population parameter, the average hours uh, worked per week for females, is somewhere between 35.95 and 39.37. Um, okay. um, now, like I said uh, in the lecture, you can never really be 100% confident um, that the interval that you constructed contains the actual population parameter, so we can go up to 99%, but we're never really gonna be 100% confident because we're dealing with probabilities. Uh, with statistics, we're not dealing with absolute certainties and facts. Okay? So that's how you calculate confidence intervals for uh, the data in the general social survey with SPSS.